in the financial uh, investment space is nothing but it's a contract existing between a buyer and a seller of anything it could be a commodity it could be a a bond it could be a stock a contract that is existing between a buyer and seller that the transaction between them will happen at a later date probably the date is decided today itself at a later date for a pre decided price and for a pre decided quantity of that particular product so the transaction will not happen today but it will happen at some future date which is decided today itself uh, and the price and the quantity and the quality of that entire transaction is decided today itself so that is what is a typical derivatives contract and uh, the plain agreement that is lying between the two parties the buyer and the seller for buying and selling at a future date is what we call as a forward contract so uh, from a buyer's dimension if i am looking at it instead of buying today any any commodity or a good the buying will not happen today but he will try to buy let's say 30 days later similarly from a seller perspective he is not uh, trying to sell the good uh, today he is trying to sell after 30 days now what happens is the buyer and the seller come together and come into an agreement that yes i will buy something from you after 30 days at this particular price at this particular quantity so this is what is a forward contract so as far as the forward contracts are concerned we talk about the pricing as well as the value we talk about uh, the two things associated with the forward contract the pricing of it and the value of it what are these two things is the day of entering into the contract i would like to know what should be the appropriate price to buy at a future date or what is the appropriate price to sell at a future date that particular price is what we are calling as the price of the forward contract or a forward price or the other word that is used is no arbitrage price very important word to use because when we talk about the word called no arbitrage it says that without incurring or probably another way to rename the no arbitrage is riskless profit means i try to make a profit out of the agreement without taking any risk that is what we call as a no arbitrage profit means there is a guaranteed profit guaranteed profit without even a, a little bit of chance of loss also so generally in the finance world the high profits come with high risk high risk means high chances of loss also existing only when you are taking that kind of a risk there is a possibility of making higher profit but when i am talking about no arbitrage profit it is more like i make a profit without incurring any loss very simple let's say okay a particular good right now let's say i am talking about uh, a bag of rice a bag of rice let's say today in the market it is available for 1200 rupees now one option that is available for me is buy this bag of rice today for 1200 the other option is get into an agreement with the buy with the seller get into an agreement with the seller 
that you will buy rice probably at 1210 you you make an agreement with the seller that you will buy rice from him at 1210 after 3 months right and let's say the seller has agreed to it okay in the meanwhile what you do is you will deposit the 1200 you have the cash but you don't want to buy it today so you deposit 1200 in a bank which is paying you let's say a 5% per year so per quarter or probably 4% saving deposit uh, return so 4% per year is what uh, it is paying means 1% per quarter gets deposited into your account means 1% of this 1200 you are you are mandatorily getting 12 rupees as the interest so what is happening is when you got 12 rupees at the end of 3 months your account has become 1212 for sure it's a guaranteed money and you because of your agreement you are buying rice at 1210 only which means 2 rupees is the is the arbitrage profit in your case because this is the amount which you are earning without taking any risk this is the amount which you have to pay without uh, any kind of volatility so you are making a profit of 2 rupees in this transaction now imagine the same way you are thinking of probably getting into some uh, 1 lakh such bags so without taking any risk you are making a profit of 2 lakhs in this contract because this is assured this is assured a difference is existing and that is what is called as we are able to make an arbitrage so probably the better thing should have been this price the instead of 1210 it should have been determined based on the no arbitrage kind of a scenario means I should design this price in such a way that at the time of entering into the contract I should design that price in such a way that at the time of entering into the contract neither the buyer nor the seller is at any kind of disadvantage right uh, i mean there is no specific advantage to a buyer or a seller and uh, the, it should be like indifferent between buying it uh, today versus buying it at a later date such a kind of a scenario needs to be uh, established and that is what we call as a no arbitrage forward price or in other way if i look at like this okay when, when uh, let's say in this example itself, the spot price is 1200 rupees, the forward price is 1210. Three month forward price is let's say 1210. Now, what could have very well happened is, let's say the interest rate that is available is 4%. The person, he could have invested this 1200 at 4%. So, he will not buy rice today. He will buy only after 3 months because when you deposit this for 4 months or 3 months at 4%, your amount is going to become 12-12 and uh, you can buy the bag of rice at 12-10 itself. Both of them are assured. So, 2 rupees is the profit which means in some cases, a person what he can do is he will borrow he will uh, 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 whatever if he has the cash fine otherwise he will borrow at 4% he will deposit get 1210 and at the same time he will buy rice at 1210 make a 2 rupee profit and like that if he is increasing the volume he is able to increase his profit also quite tremendously so that's the typical mechanism that is being uh, followed to create arbitrage opportunities so if at all i have to say let the forward contract be designed 
without any kind of arbitrage opportunity then what we typically do is we take the spot price and we multiply it with the risk free rate of return and uh, we, we use this formula where R is the risk free rate of return whatever is the interest that your S0 can S0 can get right what is the interest your S0 can get if you have invested it for a T periods is what we are trying to look at that should be your no arbitrage forward price. So, in this case, if R is the discrete rate of uh, return, then we use this kind of a formula. But if it is uh, a continuous